Hey everybody, this is Matt with Grand and Marine. I'm standing in front of our new 35 Catamaran by Invincible. This boat turned out great. We are very excited about this particular boat. Uh, this boat is powered by Quad 300 V8s, top end 75 miles an hour. We, uh, we're at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show and we had eight people, 350 gallons of fuel, and we were running 49.6 miles an hour, getting 1.1 miles per gallon out of this particular boat. So we're very excited about it. Overall performance is better than any other 35 to 37 foot boat in its class. Uh, we do have um, a couple boats in stock that we just got in. We have a white boat and we have a gray boat with a couple different features. So definitely keep us in mind if you're looking for your next boat. Let's walk to the back. This boat is all gray. We have the Morelli and Melvin did design this particular boat, just like the other catamarans that Invincible offers. We have a double stepped hull, 550 gallons of fuel. The boat's 35 feet, 10 inches long, so right at a 36 foot boat. And we're also 11 feet, seven and a half inches wide. So we have a nice beam, nice length. If you're not looking to get in that 40 foot plus boat, this 35 and the class and the, and the performance and the price that we're talking, uh, there's nothing else on the market, so we're very, very excited. Uh, let's take a look. We do have the motors in the back, 300 V8s like I was telling you about. We have a nice tall tunnel in the back with a ladder, so we do have a pull-out ladder to where if you're swimming or your family's wanting to get in the boat, they can get on the back or they can go to the other side. On the port side, we offer a dive door. This boat does have a dive door with a pull-out ladder, so you pull up to an island or you pull out and you're, you want to uh, do some diving or you want to uh, go out and just swim, you have a port dive door with a ladder, or if you fall off and you need to get in, you can come to the back and you can get into the transom door as well. We're really excited about this boat. Performance standpoint, it, it blows us out and we're just amazed by the performance report that we're getting off of it. Customers are, are very excited. We have about uh, three or four boats pre-sold and we can't wait to sell some more. So we're gonna go inside and take a look at a few of the options and see what y'all think. Let's go. All right, we're inside the new 35 Catamaran by Invincible. As you can see in the bow, we have a tremendously wide area for fishing. We can sit up here for when a bottom drop. We order our boats with deep uh, electric reel plugs in the bow so we can sit right here and we can bottom fish. And then when we're done, we do have fresh and raw water wash down on the bow. We order our boats with the additional rod holder uh, rod holders in the bow with our plugs and also our wash down. So if you are fishing, you want to pull one of these hoses out, you can keep it up here with you and easily rinse off, spray everything to the back of the boat. Very beneficial, especially when you're fishing, you have access to fresh and raw water. Coming to the front of the boat, we also have this very nice large extension box on in front of the console. This is new to Invincible. They have designed this boat for fishing, but also for riding around. You can fit two full-size adults up here with armrests. Your armrests do fold down. They also fold back up. Very thought out. They did a great job. It's got a nice uh, thick uh, cushion to it. It also has a little bit of curve to the edge to keep you inside the seat. This box, not only is it comfortable, but it serves a great purpose. We can fit a lot of ice, a lot of fish, or just a lot of gear inside of this box. This box is very well insulated. It has a gasket all the way around. It has two large shocks to hold it up so where if you're offshore, it's not gonna fall on you. You have dividers inside of the box to give you the ability to space everything out. If you wanna put some smaller fish in the back, put your, uh, take one divider out and have more fish in the back and also the front for say additional storage it, it, they do a great job offering that divider system throughout this large box we have had ice in the boxes and they last for five to seven days uh, they do a great job holding ice the box is easy to fold down locks into place rod holders on each side five and five is what we order ours with uh, very well thought out for rod holders get them out of the way you're not having to worry about them on the gunnels yeah, you pull up to a marina, all your rods are right here at the coffin box and they're easy to get to. Um, coming back to the console, we do have the three-piece Isinglass enclosure. This enclosure is an option. Uh, they do a great job. It gives air ventilation at the top. It does give you a windbreak and it'll block the rain if you get caught out in some uh, weather. Uh, we do offer the sides as well in the three-piece enclosure with the wings. The wings are additional, but we do order them on our fishing boats. The guys that are hardcore fishing because say it's blowing and it's four to five foot seas and you know no matter what you do you're going to get some spray you can put those wings up it'll block you and you're protected uh, next we'll check out the back of the boat 
All right, I'm standing on the transom of the boat, and as you can see, we're not lacking horsepower. This particular boat is powered by quad 300 V8s. Like we sold, told you before, it's a 75 mile per hour boat, cruises very well at 50 miles an hour, getting 1.1 mile per gallon. Uh, we do offer the ladder off the back transom. We have step ups on top to where we can easily get back into the boat if we need to. And in the back of the boat, the cockpit, we have a dive door on the port side with a built-in ladder that'll come out. And we have a ton of fishing room. Um, in, the, in the back of the boat, we can comfortably fish four to five people and nobody's gonna be on top of each other. We can also fill the boats with bean bags and take four to five people out. They're below the gunnels. They can take two, three hours if they need to go on a far trip. Very comfortable, easy to take all those bean bags and either put them you know, in the front of the boat on console extension or you can put them on top, wherever you prefer. I was telling you this is a little bit of a fishing boat. As you can see, to give up more space, we have the flat back tackle center. This is called the flat back tackle center with a uh, pull out frigid rigid cooler with a cushion. Great for uh, prepping anything that you may need to get ready for fishing. You have a, a nice cutting board that's uh, got some support to where it's not gonna fall and break. We have plenty of uh, storage here. We have additional pullouts here and our plano tackle here. So to keep tackle on the boat, this is a great feature to have on the, on the boat. The other option would be a rear facing leaning post seat, uh, which is nice as you can see on this particular boat right beside me. This is the rear facing leaning post seat. It does give you three seats with uh, a cooler underneath and you do have a fold out tackle center, which is very spacious. Some people prefer space, some people prefer to have more seating arrangements for their guests, and also you still have a pull out tackle center that is an option. Um, and in regards to the access to the bilges, as you can see right here, I can hop down here and I can check a bilge pump. Anytime you get an Invincible, it's gonna be a sea chest for high speed pickups with pressure to where these live wells always stay full. You can easily get in here, sit down, change a fuel water separator, uh, a bilge pump, a live well pump, check your plumbing, your brass through holes, everything is easy to get to, and you have two of these. On each side, you have access to the hole to where you can get in and check and service anything you may need to get to. And in front of the uh, starboard box, you can insulate that for either uh, additional fish box or you could plumb it for a live well, which is, is nice. If you, the boat comes with one live well, you can get an additional live well if two live wells are important for you. This boat is also equipped with the double rod rack. Uh, as you can see, I not only have one rod uh, rack up top, I have two which will hold an additional uh, six rods, which gets them up high out of the way. We also have the leaning post with the cup holder, so you're not going to lose out on your cup holders, and hand support. So this boat has the crow's nest. This double rod rack not only gives you rods, but it gives you the stability of the hard top to be supported. So if one or two people are on top of the boat, you're not going to have to worry about your hard top vibrating or, or having any type of flex. Uh, and you get a nice handrail. So if I'm standing here and we're running 40, 50 miles an hour, I've got a nice gripped handrail all in aluminum that I can hold on, you know, keep you from losing your balance. People always ask about the fish boxes, and I myself sometimes forget to show them, but I'm not gonna forget in this boat. I'm standing inside one of the port fish boxes, and I can lay down in here. I could probably have two or three more people come in here and lay down as well, and you could fit, you know, anything that you need to catch, you can get in here. Great benefit of this box is it is insulated. It does have a drainage that goes out the back. Uh, one thing that I wanna tell you about the 35 Cat is, this particular boat has quads, so in regards to the quad application motors, the fish boxes are, are uh, more in the back of the boat. They're right at the leaning post. The fuel tanks are right in front of this fish box. So the engineers did a great job thinking about weight distribution, where we need to put the weight, center of gravity, and for 550 gallons of fuel right in front of that, that, that really keeps the overall engineering and the rod very stable. Now what's special is if you go to a twin application, say you want to order this boat with twin motors, which you can, the fuel tanks come back to where the fish boxes are and the fish boxes go up to where the fuel tanks are. The only thing that you lose is instead of 550 gallons of uh, fuel, you go to 500 gallons of fuel. So 500 gallons of fuel with twin, twin motors, you're going to have a great performing boat, but you're also going to have a lot of range just as any other 36 to 40 foot boat. Um, so fish boxes, 
they're very spacious. You can lay down in them. Get a, you can even put storage in here. Uh, sometimes when we'll go on a trip, we'll put our other coolers inside of this fish box, and you can put bean bags in here and, and get everything out of the way off of the deck when it's ready to fish. Same as on the starboard side, and uh, very beneficial when you have two boxes that are in this size. At the leaning post, as you can see, I'm sitting in the middle seat. I can have a guest on each side of me. They're behind the windshield, so they're protected from wind, rain. If you put the wings up, the wings will zip in and they'll go out at an angle to where you're protected. Uh, and one thing about the boat is it's got a center steering wheel. So I'm not off to the port side and, you know, and kind of sitting on top of my guests. I have my own designated area. If somebody needs to come over here and get to an electronics uh, page or look at a map, they can come here or they can come over here on my port side. Uh, center steering wheel is always nice because you kind of are in the middle not getting anybody's way and you have your electronics right in front of you within, you know, not far off you can get to any page you want. We do offer uh, different electronic packages. Some people will just do a couple 16 inches. We have our vessel view in the middle and we're still able to put a 16 on each side and we can put VHFs or FLIR or anything that you may want for your fishing needs. And the visibility is great. We offer a sea deck pad which we have on this particular boat so your phones or your keys or wallet doesn't fall off and my visibility is extremely uh, easy to see. I can see straight over the bow from the port to starboard side. I can see each cleat if I'm pulling up to a marina and at 75 miles an hour I'm not losing visibility and getting on plane I'm not losing visibility. This boat gets on plane very quickly, hardly any bow rise. It shoots on plane with, with the power that we have and uh, it's just an overall great boat. Um, we offer a lot of different features through the boats. Like I was telling you before, additional rod holders, flush, flush hoses uh, for the actual uh, motor system, which is the reverso system. That is an option that we offer. We have fresh and raw water wash down. We also have um, the front coffin box extension, which is nice. If you want to separate your coffin box, you can also get that option or not have anything in the front and have a tremendous bow on this to where you have more fishing room than any other center console. A lot of people want to talk about, well, it's a catamaran, you don't have a lot of room in the console. Well, you know, you do have a head, which is important to a lot of people. You do have a nice clearance to where if you need to get in here and get out of the weather or you just want to use the restroom, you can. Uh, and also, maintenance and service is very important. When our uh, installers are in, installing our electronics, they can get to their paneling, their, uh, all the wiring, all the electrical batteries, the switching, everything is easy to get to. And this is a great storage spot. A lot of people bring bags when they go fishing with you. They, they need a place to put that. This is a great area to get into. It's dry in here. Uh, the battery switches are all located on this side, but what's great about Invincible, I turn one key when I get on the boat, all the battery switches, they turn on. So I'm not having to crawl in here and turn batteries on. I can hit the switch and the key and I'm done. You pull to your house, you're on a lift, you want to make sure you can pull your key out, you know, and you'll be able to keep those batteries from turning on. Um, the overall layout, yes, I don't have a step down console, but for a a console that I'm not in a hole, I, I don't feel claustrophobic, I can still sit here, have the door open if I need a prep tackle or if I need to get something out of a bag, and it's, it's very spacious for a catamaran. So you get a lot of benefit even though I'm not going all the way down into the middle of the boat. We really hope you enjoyed this walkthrough video of our 35 catamaran by Invincible. Uh, this boat, we're very excited about it. We already have three or four boats pre-sold. Uh, we have a couple more on order, and we really think that this boat is going to be a game changer for the Gulf of Mexico, especially with the range, the, the beam, the length, and the overall performance that you're going to get out of this particular boat. Uh, we hope that this has been very beneficial for you if you've been watching, and we hope that you'll give us the opportunity to earn your business if you are uh, in the market for a new boat. Feel free to give us a call at 251-271-0166. This is Matt Dickinson with Grander Marine. We hope you have a blessed day.